Malik. Come to waste more of my time? I found Talal. I'm ready to begin my mission. That is for me to decide. Very well. Here's what I know. He traffics in human lives, kidnapping Jerusalem's citizens and selling them into slavery. His base is a warehouse located inside the Barbican, north of here. As we speak, he prepares a caravan for travel. I'll strike while he's inspecting his stock. If I can avoid his men, Talal himself should prove little challenge. Little challenge? Listen to you. Such arrogance. Are we finished? Are you satisfied with what I've learned? No. But it will have to do. I think I could have done more missions and I didn't realize it. Oh, oh well. But whatever. As long as there are not trophies involved. I don't really remember. Rest, prepare, cry in the corner. Do whatever it is you do before a mission. Only make sure you do it quietly. So what doesn't make sense to me about that is that this guy is selling slaves, right? Yeah. But slavery was invented by white people. <laughs> In white America, people. specifically. That makes sense. White people probably brought it here, you know? That that's makes true. sense, yeah. That's true. Yeah, I think I could have done another mission and I didn't notice it, but that's okay. It's okay. Not At least video. there's no full so, sync. So could we find another cutscene real quick so I can talk through it? Yeah, I think we should do that. <laughs> so, by the way, before we do that, uh, somebody help me. I need a lot of help here. Okay. Someone was telling me that um, you can look at... Your cock? No, I look at that every second. That you can look at the... Wait, what is this? Kill all Templars? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Someone was telling me that you can look at stuff in, like, the lore here and see extra information about the assassination target. That's cool. So here's some extra information. Talal, a cunning slave master, has a warehouse in the northern Barbican filled with human livestock. He inspects them daily, oh. preparing them for travel. Knowing exactly where his guards are, I need simply to strike during his next inspection. I like how he inspects them. I like how he called them livestock, as he should. Talal is said to favor the bow. In a fight, he'll seek to put distance between him and his enemy, trying to kill him from afar. I'll close the gap between us before he's knocked his first arrow. He has many loyal followers, all of whom will give up their lives from the man if they sense their master is in danger. So, okay. oh, view attachment. This is what I was looking for. So this is kind of a thing that we can look at in terms of the guard routes. Oh, cool. I didn't know you could look at any of this stuff. I really didn't remember because I haven't played this game in so many years. So what, is, what is this? Um, this is this map I found details possible locations in which he'll take refuge. So if he tries to run away, he'll try and go that direction, I guess. There's like yeah. seven directions. <laughs> I like how the idea of that. <laughs> so let's say he's in the middle of that, right? Yeah. It's like I, he has to go one of these four directions, <laughs> like, and those are the only paths. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, well. Yeah, we didn't do this one, but whatever. So that's on you. That's that's a failure from your perspective. We'll try and do all of them in the next one. But I just forgot. There's not going to be a next one because we messed up the mission. That's You're true. Right. We need to restart the entire game. Yeah, I think so. We might as well. We We're messed up the percenters. What's the... Wasn't there like a, some kind of thing called a something percenter in history? Am I wrong? Like how there's like the 49ers? I thought there was the something percenters. I don't I don't know. Okay, well, Maybe I thought you was. knew history, but I guess... Hey, you there's know. a flag over there. That's okay. So can I tell you guys about my work stories? Yeah. Make oh. sure to include all names and okay. all locations and their uh, home addresses, too. So I work at a restaurant um, that sucks. <laughs> and that's about all the information I can give you on that for the people listening. But, um, so I do hosting where, like... People will walk in, and then I have to press on the computer where I'm going to sit them and then put them at the table. Got it, so you're unemployed. Yeah. <laughs> so, I come in, and I usually work at 4 p.m. So I come in at 4 p.m. the other day. I think it was on Wednesday. Uh, and two managers are at the hosting station because they didn't schedule it correctly for the hosts to come in early enough for... Um, like the lunch hosts to leave and then there'd be another host immediately after for the dinner, if that makes sense. So I am listening. By the way, I'm trying to get a hang of the controls again. I'm not not really going to be terrible the whole time, but I'll be mediocre. Okay. So two managers, uh, one of which I will name uh, No, Jill. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? It's too close to the actual name. Just use a totally unrelated name. Okay, okay. Kevin. 
We got Kevin. Uh, <laughs> Kevin is a girl. <laughs> Why is this so funny to you? Because I Just think it's funny. Tell the fucking story. I hate when you do this. It makes me so mad. Shut up. It makes me so angry because by the time you get to the point, I don't care anymore. So there are two people were at the hosting station. They were both managers. One of them was Kevin. And um, <laughs> <laughs> these people are supposed to be like knowing what to do for their job right because their managers like they're supposed to know what to do and that so, was your first mistake so um basically when you're hosting you have different stations with server names on them and those correspond to table numbers so if you don't close the lunch station for somebody leaving if they say they're leaving get, get out of then here. Those tables technically stay open in the computer system, and nobody will know not to seat anybody there because there's no server, right? So you're supposed to close the station to show everybody, hey, there's no server at these tables. Uh, Kevin and the other manager did not do that. They, they left it open for lunch for this one person um, who reminds me of Kylo Ren. Uh, we'll just call him Kylo Ren. And he wasn't even there. He looks like Adam Driver. He does. Okay. He looks like Adam Driver. He, uh, Why am I so, so bad at this? So it says on the list, like, Adam Driver is supposed to be there serving these tables, right? And so I'm seating people at these tables because nobody told me Adam Driver wasn't there. Because so. the station is open. And it's like five tables. Mm-hmm. This doesn't matter. Okay, and so, like, there's two, like, big families who I end up seating at these tables, by the way. And there's this guy who, um, let's, let's think of a name for him. Uh, Jeff. Jeff. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff that's a good name. His name is Jeff. There's this waiter named Jeff. Was that dead meme funny? That was a really good, who, a really funny joke. Who is there, and he is in the section next to Adam Driver's section. And so since I'm putting these people at these tables that Adam Driver is supposed to be at, but he's not actually at work yet because he's not scheduled until 5.30, um, Jeff thinks that those tables are also his. So he pretty much has, like, ten tables. And he's, like, really upset, and he blames me. And he yells at me. I'm like sorry he, I'm so bad at this game, by the way. Like, just, just throwing oh, that okay. out there. Because you don't have to defend yourself. I'm worse. I, I'm trying really hard, and I've never been very good at this game. And I know I'm not very good at this game, but I try my best, and I'm trying to get better at it as I play. Anyway, let's let's hear more from Jill. So, so Jeff yells at me, like literally, like straight up, is like mad at me, and is like, I can't do this, and. Um, Doesn't work here, then. I know, right? Oh, right. So I can't do the grab break yet, which is like central to fighting these guys. So I'm not really sure what the point is of even engaging them, because it's actually hard to do this without that, since they grab you over and over. Yeah. So Jeff yells at Jill and is like. Basically tells her to fuck off. Pretty like much. basically tells her like why are you putting so many people at my tables? Which can I mention by the way, as a server, you're being a little bitch about this because I'm your, giving you tons of tips. Your whole income is based off of getting tables. Yeah. So how intelligent is it to then attack the person who can decide what your hourly wage will be the rest of the day? Is that smart? Not really. No, because basically so like if you were gonna shit all over the person who can choose to seat people in your section or not couldn't they just choose to not put anyone in your section? Yeah. And then you make $10 an hour the rest of the day instead of 50? Right. <laughs> Is that smart? So, uh, basically, since it was the manager's fault and not mine, I got um, two other managers involved. One Mark. Was, one was a man and one was a woman, so let's just call them Mark <laughs> and uh, uh, Brenda. So. <laughs> Brenda's hot. So, uh, Brenda pretty much finds out about all of this and is like, oh my god, this is a mess. And two families walk out in front of all four managers. Yeah, they just leave. Why is there and, four managers? And Jeff. And why, Jeff. By the way, why does there need to be four managers on duty? That, so I don't know. How come they don't have hours for normal people to work, but they have hours for four managers, which <laughs> I don't is know. infinitely more expensive. They just have like one or like two that inept day. at their jobs, by the way. Anyway, like I, save some I like Mark yeah. and Brenda, but Kevin and the other bitch are terrible at their jobs. Anyway, um, so basically Brenda chews out uh, Kevin, the other chick, and Jeff, and is like basically telling them that it's their fault and that I didn't do anything wrong because I had no idea because I had just come in less than an hour. 
before, and they were trying to be mean to me and this girl that I'm friends with, um, who I'll call, like, uh, 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 Madison. Sexual, uh, woman. <laughs> her, her name is Madison in the story. Object. So, so Madison has only been working there for four days, by the way. It's her four, like, fourth or fifth day. And they're trying to blame, like, Jeff and these managers are trying to blame me and her for messing it up. So Brenda's, like, not taking any shit. And she's like, no, fuck all of you. It was really funny. She didn't actually say fuck you, though. No, no, she didn't actually she said, say that. She said, I will fuck you. Yeah. Right. So you want to know what I did for uh, Jeff for the rest of the day? Which one's Jeff again? Jeff is, like, the, the waiter who yelled at me. Oh, yeah. Did you not schedule anyone for him? So, it was kind of a slow day. You know, there was people coming in, but not every single table in the restaurant needed to be filled. So, he got, I think, one party for the next four hours. Nice. Yeah. So, how smart is that to be an asshole to the person who literally determines your income? Right? Well, if you're too overwhelmed for all the tables I gave you, I guess I just won't give you any. And this wasn't just like someone was like, hey, Jill, I can't handle this many people. This was like yelled at her right? yeah. in front of someone. So it's like... The how communication with the host is so terrible. How how stupid are you? I cannot imagine. This would be like me going to the CEO of YouTube's house right. and harassing them. Yeah, Jeff YouTube. And then being shocked when like all of a sudden my channel does bad. Right. Like, oh, whoa. It's like, yeah. And someone can be like, that's not fair. That's favoritism. Yeah, that's life. That's literally all of life. If you piss off your boss, you're going to have a bad job. Right. You don't do that, right? And technically the hosts are over the servers in the sense that they get to determine their schedule. You know, like, they don't boss them around, but they control what they do in terms of they right. set up the tables. They can just put people at a different table. And just not bother. Yeah. Or, or they can give them a bunch. So what Jill did was the rest of the day, the two servers that were there that were nice to her. Yeah, she, Adam Driver and this other guy. She gave them all of the tables. Yep. So they were earning about probably 30 to 50, maybe more dollars an hour if you include the tips, because people pay really well at this restaurant. Yeah. And this other guy earned $10 an hour for his iniquity. Yep. Right. <laughs> I don't and he know. deserved it, too. I want your thoughts on the whole because thing. Because he, he gave me oh, a panic attack, <laughs> and the other the other manager, Mark, I, I went up to him and I was like, am I in trouble? Like, I feel like I just got in trouble because Jeff yelled at me. And Mark was like, no, no, you didn't do anything wrong. You're okay. And I like Mark for that. I thought it was very nice of him. I think we should beat up Jeff. I think we should too. <laughs> like, please expose his real name on the channel and address and, and everything. I wish I could. Garage code number, social security number. So what are your thoughts on all of this? Also, I want to try something because... I forgot you can do this, but you can counter with the hidden blade, and I don't know if if I can yet, but I want to try. Oh, yeah, I can. Uh, I'm surprised. Nice job. I'm surprised uh, that I could do it. Yeah, I'm surprised they weren't like, oh, that's a really tough move to do to step to the left and then stab. It is a tough move to do. That's why I stopped doing it, because I was going to die. <laughs> So what do you think about that whole thing? I mean, it sounds like some really dumb, petty work drama there. That I, th I think is just kind of stupid. Yeah, why, by the way, why do people care so much? You're at a restaurant. I don't know. Like, I'm not, I don't know. Am I? Okay. I'm not trying to be an asshole here. But you're not going anywhere in life working as a, as a waiter. Right. Likely. Like, I mean, like, you're not moving up. So, like, my point is, you want to do your job well, and you want to get paid. Mm -hmm. And you want to, I would hope that you want to do the best you can and make people happy. So just be nice to people. And, um, you know, that's it. Like, that's, that's kind of my, I, I don't know. Like, that's kind of where I think it would stop, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like, that would be like what you would do. And that would be your whole thing at yeah. work. It wouldn't be like, oh, I really got to be careful. Cause like, if I do this perfect, I'm going to make manager next year. It's like, no, you might be there 20 years. There's someone who's been there. I'm not kidding, at Jill's work for over 10 years. They're not a manager. Right. A lot of the times now in, in industry or in retail and the food industry, like the service industry, you don't move up to manager. It's not that way anymore. It can be at some places, mm -hmm. but you actually have to go to school to get a managerial degree at a lot of places. Right. When I worked at Target, I don't know if it's changed since then. So keep in mind, this was like 2014, 2015. 
uh, they no longer allowed people to move up to team lead, which was manager, mm -hmm. without going back to college and getting a degree. You had to have a managerial degree to be a manager. And you could not, you could get that degree without ever working there a day and apply as a manager and get the job. There were people who had never had even a basic retail position at Target. That's ridiculous. Because as a manager, you should have to know every single job there because you're supposed to be helping out with every single one. Like, right. that's, that's how we get people like stupid Kevin and the other chick who, like, can't figure out how the hosting computer works, even though it's really not that hard. Well, and that's the problem with, like, um, consumer capitalism. Like, when it hits its... When it hits its like peak in terms of like uh, accreditation and like uh, credentialism, is like these schools are all for profit, so they introduce new degrees and they convince these businesses to buy into them. Yeah. And the managerial degree is one of them. You don't need a, de a degree to be a good manager. You need to be good at working with people, and you need to be good at understanding the job, and you need to be okay with putting your ego aside. Those are the kinds of basic things you need. And you need to be um, kind. Yeah, and you need some amount of empathy and kindness. No one's around me. What am I supposed to do? I have to oh. speak to him, but I saved him. Well, go sit on a bench. I can do that, but if I go too far away from him, the guards respawn and restarts. The game's like, whoa, now you're hidden. So, is that... Do I have to wait? No, I think you're good now. Okay. Um... You know, but, like, they've introduced this idea that, like, you need these degrees to do every job. Yeah. And I get it for, like, engineering. Mm -hmm. I get it for... Underwater welding. Yeah, being, or being, like, a rocket scientist or, you know, something like that. But, like, it makes no sense anyway because you'll also have these dudes... I'm not kidding. I knew someone who was in the military who worked with munitions and explosives. He had no degree in that. Right. They just train you in it. You get no piece of paper saying, hey, you can do it. It's just the military tells you, hey, you can do it. It's Who's not around to see you. It's not an official degree. Um, but like they let him work with bombs and ammo and all kinds of stuff like that that can kill people. Jeez. Like different stuff. And no degree. Like it's not like he went to like IT school to do that. Just he got some training from the military and they said, okay, you're certified. Good job. It's like a driver's license. Well, yeah. I mean, I think people just underestimate the human brain these days. Yeah. They they think it's, like, impossible for someone to... I guess we can't go there. Yeah. We might have to do this assassination before we go there. They think it's, like, impossible to train someone in it. You know, that's like, well, you can't get this job because you don't have that degree. It's like, okay, then show me what to do. No! And even if they have the degree, you still have to train like, them. What? Also, even if you have the degree, there's still people who are bad at their job. That's right. true. And it's just like... I'm sure you've worked in that, or with that in, like, the history field. Oh, yeah. There's people who are bad at their job who have an on-paper degree. Yeah. It's like the... It's just, it's really frustrating because especially for younger people who are trying to get in, like, those positions, those higher-up positions... And they're like, well, you need all these, like, master's degrees and everything. And it's like, how about you just show me what to do? Like, I'm not an idiot. Right. You know, what do it take you, like, a week? Yeah. To just, I, to I, just I, tell me what to do and show me what to do and then I'm, I'm down? I learned... I already, I already got it? <laughs> like... I know I didn't end up doing it, but I learned more in my um, student teaching experience actually in the classroom than I learned in three years in the education program in college. Because yeah. most people learn from hands-on yeah. connections. That's how people learn. And that's why I say, like, the consumer capitalism of, like, the college system, I think, is bad. Yeah. I think it works in a lot of fields, but I think when you get to, when you get to, like, medical and education, um, it doesn't work very well. Mm -hmm. Because, like, medicine, it will never be, like, super profitable in terms of, like, trying to heal everyone. Like, that just cuts tons of people out. And that's what they want. And then, you know, with education, the only way to make education super profitable is to price gouge. Yeah. But you have to price gouge everything. You make books that cost, you know, a few thousand dollars to make the book or whatever, like, if, in terms of printing and everything. When it really actually doesn't cost that much? Well, no, but I'm saying, like, you have to hire, intelli you have to interview intelligent people, like, for college textbooks and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, but my, why Whoa. was this guy, like, a, okay. Oh, well, he's dead now. Basically, I'm saying, like, you, you you have to charge way more than anything goes into it at the end of the day. Yeah. You want me to do the assassination? Sure, we can do the assassination. All right. 
going on. There. Or you can save citizens too. I mean, I don't know if I. There is one there. I, I can just save him and then move on. We don't have to probably save everyone. And what else made me mad about the whole thing is I had previously sent a message to this manager, Brenda, and I was like, hey, I'm only getting like eight hours a week. Um, and like I would like to work at least 15. Like I'd work like to work three days a week for five hours. I feel like that wasn't a hard request. Um, and I'm pretty sure the scheduler is that stupid person, Kevin, who messed everything up for me and then tried to blame me and chew me out for it. Um, so basically now I'm scheduled 30 hours next week. Which you're not going. I don't care if that's mean or not. And it's like, uh, no, I asked for 15. I don't want to work six to eight hours, but I also don't want to work 30. Is that so fucking hard to understand? Like... I cannot, I, I'm, I literally went to a school that people who were flunking out of classes had to go to because they had like mental illness problems, like I thought depression, I wasn't supposed to talk about this. Like depression or anxiety or stuff like that. Um, I, I basically, I went to a school like that and I have never met anybody else so fucking stupid in my life. Well, people with mental illness aren't stupid, Jill. Sponsoring. Well, I know, I know, but there were some people in that school who were genuinely just really stupid and needed, like, extra help, you know? Like, I'm not trying to be mean to them. Like, they didn't have, um... They, they didn't have, like, problems with... Nice ass. It's um, <laughs> good camera. Right? Like, they didn't have problems with, like, needing to learn, if that makes sense. They they had problems with not wanting to put in any work and just wanting to be loafs. So you're saying they were lazy? Yes. Uh, like, they, uh, it's not like they couldn't learn, it's because they didn't want to. So you're saying to. all people with disabilities are lazy, huh? No. I'm so, an ally. so what I'm trying to say is I've met people like that, and they're really dumb and stupid, and I have... I have never met anyone in my life more stupid than some of the people I've met at my work. And it is genuinely shocking. It is, like, so upsetting to me. Yeah, this is the world, unfortunately. <laughs> you know what really bo uh, should bother you? Those people can vote just like you. And that's why... Uh, that's, that's why we end up with such is. idiots in power. Yep. Right. Because we have, like, people who can't understand basic numbers of anything i'm not gonna go after that guy uh basically you have people who can't understand basic concepts being in positions to elect officials okay how come everyone catches your knife in this <laughs> people like became way less skilled in the few hundred years between this and Ezio. by the way <laughs> it's like back then they were catching hidden blades and now they're just like oh they had different regions that's that true. makes sense, yeah. Did you guys see that uh, Altair takes the Bobby Hill method of... Who's Bobby Hill? Uh, from King of the Hill. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, Hank's yeah. son. Yeah. He takes his method of no means no women's <laughs> self-defense and kicks at the balls. Have you ever seen that episode? I have, yeah. <laughs> Where Bobby takes a self-defense class meant for women, Jill. Oh, really? And, um... They teach him what to do, so like when he kicks people in the balls, he yells, That's my purse! Leave me alone! <laughs> and stuff like that. Nice. <laughs> Alright, let's head in here and... Is this our assassination target? Yeah. Seems like they knew we were coming. Oh, there's Cosmo, a slave! I Cosmo, I put that finger in my ear. Do you want to lick what it? Now, Ew! What is going on over there? I only wish to help them. As I myself was happy. You do no kindness imprisoning them like this. Imprisoning them. I Save keep them me. safe. Preparing them for the journey that lies ahead. What journey? It is a life of servitude. <laughs> you know nothing. It was folly to even bring you here. To think that you might see and understand. I understand well enough. Show yourself. I like how Ezio doesn't, like, cut the people's chains or anything like that. This is all fair. All so you're right, Ezio, I mean. You did not call me here. I came on my own. <laughs> did you? Who unbarred the door? Cleared the path? Did you once raise your blade against a single man of mine, huh? No. All this I did for you. Step into the light, then. I will grant you one final favor.
Now I stand before you. What is it you desire? Come down here. Let us settle this with honor. Why must it always come to violence? It seems I cannot help you, for you do not wish to help yourself. And I cannot allow my work to be threatened. You leave me no choice. You must die. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Egyptians had dreads. Okay, never studied the history of dreads, so I don't know. What were they saying when the like camera was spinning around all the air? It was like really important uh, lore for the game. Wait, really? Well, the guy was like taunting him about like how he didn't understand what was going on. Yeah, it didn't say it in my headphone. I had one of my headphones in, and like all I heard was music. I told you if I turn the headphone too much, it doesn't play out of the other one for me. Does it do that for you? Yeah. Okay, so like you guys told me before, it didn't do that, and that I was wrong. Well, well now it, it's doing it. For me, it's not that it doesn't play, it just lowers the volume randomly. Come on, why am I so bad all of a sudden? Yeah, so what I was gonna say is, I got so mad about everything that happened the other day, uh, that I literally like sat in bed last night and applied to a bunch of different uh, restaurants. Wow. And by a bunch, I mean I applied to like one or two. Uh, so a bunch. Yeah. <laughs> why can't I fight? Like, why is this so hard? You know, I'm gonna say what everyone else does not want to say here, and they'll get mad at me for saying the combat in this game sucks. And same with two. I thought it was way better in two than this. It still kind of sucks. It's just it's clunky. The combat's not great, but the rest of the game is great, and that's kind of why I was excited to watch it be played again rather than play it myself. Well, apparently I can't be the one playing it because like I can't do it. It was way too stressful for me when I played it myself. I'm shocked I even got to the end of the game, to be honest. My problem is I don't have the abilities that I need. I need to be able to break a grab, and I don't get that till after this. Yeah. And they shouldn't be doing grabs then. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, right. that shouldn't be something they're doing then if I can't even do anything about it. I agree. Because it's not like I can dive over them. And I know, the game has a, a combat system you can interact with. I see people say this all the time, like, it does. You can do combos in this game. You can do counters. Fine, I get you can. But I don't think it's very intuitive to do it. Right. Very it pisses cool. me off. It's, like, way too difficult. Look at my little cat, small. Yeah, it's like they didn't they didn't design it correctly. It just it's clunky, it doesn't work properly. It's hard to get even the counters to work at all, because you have to have so many different things on it, like lock onto them perfectly and press it at the exact time, and it's just and even then it just doesn't work. Well, and I get that there is a I get that there are ways to do it and like okay. And then it does have, like, in-depth mechanics. Like, for example, there's a bit of a fear mechanic where if you kill certain people, um, like, lower-ranked guards will panic. So yeah. I'm stuff like that. Like, there is depth to the systems. It's not like they just threw it together. But because the responsiveness to me feels so clunky and I can't get the timing down and figure out what the timing actually is... It just feels impossible to actually interact with in like a competent way. And I know there are people out there who can do really good with it and that's fine, but I still think that criticism stands. Like just because there's people who can do really good with the first game's combat, doesn't mean the first game has like perfect combat. I agree. No, I, I really don't think it does. I don't know if I think it's as bad as you think it is, Nate, but I, I don't, I feel like for me, like my main problem right now is that I don't have access to the abilities that I need to to play right you know like once i do i feel like it's better but it still has problems yeah um it's just frustrating i don't know and then when you unlock those abilities it's not very good at teaching you them no it just kind of pretends that you should know what you're doing yeah which is dumb for the first game in the series because when i played it i didn't really get the whole counter thing when i unlocked it because the beginning of the game you didn't have the counter thing so it took me like halfway into the game to realize I could counter because nobody really said anything about it. They do teach you how to counter, Joe. But I didn't, I, I just don't remember. I, maybe I was stupid. I was in high school, but I don't remember them saying anything about it to me and me just thinking, Who's like oh. the person do a citizen's arrest there? Oh, I guess I unlocked something. Oh, well, I guess I'll go play more. These guys all look the same, so I need to get rid of them. Wow, Sorry, that was, that was a racist comment. <laughs> like, what? No, it was Wait, the Wait, why are you that guy? He's doing a citizen's arrest. No, that guy is... This guy... The other guy was doing a citizen's arrest. I thought that guy was. He was, like, holding them. <sighs> oh, ho, ho. 
Did you kill him because he had dreads? Yes. Okay. Secrets with me. My part is played. The Brotherhood is not so weak that my death will stop its work. What Brotherhood? Al Mualim is not the only one with designs upon the Holy Land. And that's all you'll have from me. Then we are finished. Beg forgiveness from your God. He's long abandoned us. Long abandoned the men and women I took into my arms. What do you mean? Beggars, whores, addicts, lepers. Do they strike you as proper slaves? Unfit for even the most menial tasks? No. I took them not to sell, but to save. And yet you'd kill us all. For no other reason than it was asked of you. No. You profit from the war. From lives lost and broken. Yes. You would think that, ignorant as you are. Wall off your mind. They say it's what your kind do best. Do you see the irony in all this? No, not yet, it seems. But you will. So I will try and get better at the combat. But I don't really know how to. Just try your best. You just have to get good. I'm sure, uh... Someone in the comments section will explain thoroughly how to how to get better at the combat, but they won't be nice about it. Yeah, and by the time they do that, we'll have finished the game. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> well, the problem is, like, our schedule is so... Okay. What's going on? Um, I don't know. Our schedule is so weird that, like, it's hard to actually edit the stuff on time. And then because we get busy, sometimes we'll record ahead. Yeah. So, like, we're technically recording this before Brotherhood is finished uploading. Right. And we're still doing Elden Ring. Yeah. At least uploading it where we beat the game, but... That's uh, true. Which I would like to have Let's Plays going that are a little more current, too. You know, where, like, we don't just do everything ahead? Mm hmm But I don't really know how to find the time. Because it's like, I don't understand how I'm supposed to edit so much and get it all up. People won't watch, like, videos that are over, like, 35, 40 minutes anyway. Yeah. And so then if I do that, that's just shooting my channel in the foot. But it's not like we can just hang out every day, either. Well, I think people expect us to hang out every day. Yeah, unfortunately, that doesn't... That's not realistic. Bureau closed. Oh, the FBI is done. The... Okay. Come on. 